Dr. Patel, uh, doing the research, can you explain to us briefly in layman's terms how the uh, messenger RNA vaccine works? Yeah, so I mean, messenger RNA is, when you go back to high school biology, an intermediate step between using your DNA to create a protein. Messenger RNA is a set of instructions to your body to make a specific protein. So messenger RNA never even enters the nucleus of the cell. It does not alter your DNA, which is a misconception. It only stays in the cytoplasm. And it's very short-lived. Once it's given your body these instructions to create a specific protein, in this case, the spike protein that's on the virus, it degrades very quickly. Um, and once that spike protein is made, your body hopefully recognizes that as foreign and creates this antibody response that we're talking about. Yeah, I've, I've done yeah, reports I, I, on um, some oncological uh, um, pharmaceuticals that work in this way, and they were, in fact, very, very effective. On now to the treatments. Um, as uh, we know, the state of Florida is making monoclonal antibody therapy available uh, to those who need it. Could you explain, Dr. Chandra Hassa, the immunology behind how that works? Sure. I mean, we're seeing this wonderful response in uh, neutralizing antibodies, basically, uh, when you get COVID-19. And if you follow um, the criteria for it, it's an outpatient type of management that we're giving in the hospital settings. They're available in multiple counties. Uh, there is a website, obviously, that the patient can go to. Uh, they do have to uh, get an order from a physician to uh, get the antibody, but these are neutralizing antibodies, uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, for COVID-19. Are you getting requests, Dr. Perez, from any patients for, for this treatment? Certainly, it, that has been something that as the monoclonal antibodies uh, treatment started, and we should uh, be very clear, this is the one treatment that has been proven highly effective, and this, there is in two settings, right? So in terms of the outpatient setting, and then in the, in the hospital setting, treatment type of thing. So we're talking about the, inpatient, the outpatient uh, uh, type of, of treatment, and this is very important. There is a limited amount of time that we have to be effective, and I think the deployment of these uh, rapid response or, or strike teams that are going to help us bring these to the community is extremely important. But this should not be the reason why we don't get vaccinated, because we have treatments, but we don't want to get there in order to get vaccinated. Vaccines still rule, yeah. and this is very, we're very lucky uh, to have treatments that have been developed to that effect. Prevention always best. Uh, Dr. Patel, any experience uh, with your patients and, and requesting this type of treatment? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, since we've had quite a surge here in Jacksonville, we've actually probably 10 of our practices patients received these antibodies this past week. Um, it's uh, indicated now, actually, even for patients over 18, that meet certain risk, risk criteria, which can include anywhere from overweight to obesity, kidney disease, immunosuppression, um, multiple other diagnoses that actually qualify them. Um, they have to be treated within the first 10 days of symptoms and they can't already be on oxygen or be deteriorating. So this is something we want to do early on, not waiting late to do it. And I think here in Jacksonville, we have pretty much all of the hospital groups that are, that are doing the infusions, but through, even through the state, they've set up a site at the Jacksonville Main Public Library where patients are able to self-refer themselves. So if they just have a positive test result, they don't need the doctor's orders. Um, the Surgeon General has actually signed emergency orders for patients to be able to go there. And patients are able to register and schedule themselves through a website that's called patientportalfl.com. And they just have to show proof of the positive test result to be able to get it at that state-run site. But nevertheless, like but nevertheless, most things in medicine, prevention, right, is always preferred. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for trusting us with your health. Uh, here, Millennium Physician Group, always your connection to a healthier life.